Right, according to the marks that I put underneath when I raised the tank into position, the mounting holes come in line with the rear seat anchor points there and there. In actual fact, they come just 15mm forward of that centre point and that what appears to be a drain hole. And likewise on this side. The rear ones come suspiciously close to this clip point here. So what we're considering doing is drilling a 20mm, maybe 25 mill hole here in which I can put uh, a blank grommet which would end up resembling something like that but that would enable me to to get the bolt in uh, leave this in in situ and to be able to get uh, a swivel socket on there to, uh, to tighten the thing off then blank that off as I say with a rubber grommet and similar thing this side my dilemma is now is uh, just how close to this back edge my marks are going to take me. I've not got a dealer scope to go forward because of the um, interference with the suspension for the valve gear. Um, this is the the suspension points that you can see for the uh, tank itself they don't protrude over the edge so marking it from the underside it was far better to put this jack this temporarily up in situ maneuver it about on the jack and uh, get all your measurements from there than the cardboard template proved to be uh, However, marking the thing, because it's inbound of the outer edge, proved quite difficult. So to get a scribe in there would put it off centre. Uh, you can't get a centre punch in, it's too, there's not enough distance, not enough clearance. It's only very shallow. I'm going to just get my finger in there. Uh, so, with a bit of a raising fluid, I managed to get a dob onto the chassis to identify the four locations for the anchor points. Uh, just to double check, I took a measurement from there to the centre of the hole. So this is the rearmost point, these two. And we'll uh, just get our uh, measurements from the rear of the, of the body the lip of the rear bodywork, the, the underskirt if you like, then uh, we'll get that set 463mm on this particular one anyway, centre to centre, so we can get that uh, marked out and put in place and then again it's a similar dimension this way now this is supposed to be uh, 720 diameter and 270 mil deep. Now the, the 270 mil is indeed what, what the tank is, and the 720 is indeed what the tank is. However, the, on the website they failed to give you the extra height that's required for the mounting points. And they also failed to tell you the amount of protrusion that you need or that will be taken up by the the neck on the tank and the valve gear that's fitted to that neck. Uh, so that's something to sort of be wary of. Uh, I found the protrusion of the valve assembly from that neck to be 70 millimeters. Uh, I've not measured that, but that's something in the region of uh, 25 mil. So we're looking about a 95 mil addition on that front edge to the size of the tank clearance that's required.
is uh, these mounting points marked these are a bit of correcting fluid on the back ways so we can uh, identify their locations <coughs> Could you, uh, oh yeah, just uh, my correcting fluid's drying up at uh, an awkward moment. Just trying to mark these bolt holes. I've got them three, so it's just this one. Okay, that'll do, I think. Yeah, I can see that one. Uh, if I can just, if I can just squeeze there just for a second. Oh. Okay, I got that one. I got that one. So these, uh, I wish I'd got a transmission jack. It'd be worth its weight in gold at this moment in time. Could you, uh, could you pass that large block from over there? Yeah. Okay. Put one either side and lower down onto that initially. So if you, if you could, uh, you know, jack handles there. As you like, faster the better, really. Could do with uh, one of those drill attachments like they do for Carol. Yeah. That'd be fantastic. I don't want it to wobble about too much it's coming down because it'll rub me rub my marks off that poor old yeah. really. Yeah. Hydraulic jacks and they use this one. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why did you use this one? Um, it had got uh, higher. initially looked, I thought they might need spacers on there, but I'm, I'm not sure I will now, to be honest. Looks like it might do. Might, on these front two, might just need a little bit of, to get it in level. Didn't you do this by yourself? Yeah. Like how? Uh, I don't know, a bit of brute force and ignorance, really. <coughs> In fact, if, uh, if you can pull 
pause there a minute because we're doing so well. Yeah. You can swap that large lot for one of those uh, longer, smaller ones. You see over there, the one that looks like that, just there, look. This. That's the one, yeah. Can you put that in there? Yeah, that should do. And we're pretty close. Yeah, that one will do, man. Yeah. Pardon? Yeah, that's good. That'll be alright. Good job. Just lift this edge up if you could pull that jack out. Just watch it don't drop on your foot or something. So. That's great. That's good. There's a couple of wedges there, too. That's my little wedge. A bigger one, that bit brown. Wedges. Right, if you could uh, remove this piece of wood. Which one? This, this one here. This one? Yeah. Put it onto that. Work right down nice and steady. All we want. That's that one nice. A bit same again, but same way. Just put it on this side. No, it's not so bad. It's easy when you when there's one person putting wood in and me doing a bit of lifting because you can you can manoeuvre it all right, but it's hard trying to put wedges in when you're lifting it yourself. Yeah. That's brilliant. Thanks Brilliant. Thanks very much for your help. Yeah. I'll get I'll get this out now and get it to packed away. Get packed away. Yeah. the uh, stuff put back together everything. Okay, we've got to uh, now to get the valve assembly inside. And it's a little bit of a ship in a bottle trick. Uh, quite significant size as you can see the rubber seal for it is built into the valve assembly so it's just a case of using a bit of Vaseline on the inside here manipulating everything through the hole which is only something like 50 mil there or thereabouts 50 mil diameter and uh, we'll, uh, we'll try and get it all in. It came with lots of these small screws just there in place. Got two more to get out. I guess they must be there just to stop the thread getting damaged. Well that one's well and truly stuck in. So that's had some bump in transit. That's one out. So they're really small, they're only about two or three threads on them. And the actual, the actual bolts themselves that secure the valve assembly are quite long, so there should be plenty of thread to make it work. Okay, well, uh, well before the valve assembly goes in, we've got three of these little disc magnets to put in place so this uh, as I say there's three this is a mild steel uh, TIG rod that I've bent halfway down created a bit of a step in it uh, to feed these in the hole and then stick them to the inside 
what their purpose serves, I've absolutely no idea. But uh, sometimes it's best not to question and just to uh, follow the instructions. So we'll see whether this works or fails before we start Vaselineing everything together. Ease it in. Well, that first attempt was failed. I guess have a reach inside and assess the enemy is probably the best course of action. So we'll try again. It's like one of those games where you try not to. Be moving around the wire, and that's that's attached nicely, so that's good. So that appears to be working okay. So I'll get two more of these put in, get the valve assembly all uh, tucked in place, and uh, we'll we'll come back again. Cheers.